Greetings, YouTube. Danny Staten here on the Daddy Dan Blog. And today I'm looking at some good stuff. And I mean some real good stuff. I'm checking out Elvira. Elvira's Mistress of the Dark. It's a number 16 from 1994 featuring Elvira, Mistress of the Dark. And with the Halloween season up on us, I thought what better than Elvira's Mistress of the Dark comic book. And it's what's new at the market, Elvira's evil little twin. And I want to apologize for this piece of crap in advance. I did not. I bought it for the cover. I think that Halloween looking cover is going to look good on the wall. But when I bought it, I didn't know this. It's one of them dismal, terrible, black and white comic books. Here's the people you can blame for it. Write them a letter and tell them how much black and white comic books suck. Anyway, it's a little Miss Market employee. It's Elvira, Mistress of the Dark, doing her show. She's checking out The Howling Three. So in full dismal black and white panels, hard to understand and hard to read, brought to you by the Daily Damn Blog. We're going to see Elvira, Mr. of the Dark. Elvira's doing her show. Elvira suddenly sees the door open and a shadowy little teeny tiny figure pops in. And it's her little niece, Sephira. That's right. It's a little Elvira mini-me. Elvira mini-me has showed up at immediately. Immediately. The producer of the show has an idea. She says, that little thing looks just like you. We're going to have to put her in the show. <laughs> Elvira, don't look happy. So in long, drug-out panels, we see Elvira. Elvira, mistress of the dark, looking hot, looking sexy, as only Elvira can look as this teeny little girl who does a mini-me impression of Elvira steals the show. She becomes part of the show. She lays on Elvira's couch, talking about movies. Elvira is mythed. 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 That word's myth. So Elvira, she be all angry that this girl's getting so much attention. She's... Threatening to quit. But she has a contract, and you got this here contract that says your ass is going to work Elvira. Elvira reviews a Godzilla movie in despair. Wah, wah, wah. What is it, Albert and Costello meet Godzilla? What the heck? So this chick named Red Zinger, just out of nowhere, suddenly appears in the comic book. Red Zinger is another horror movie host. He wants to take Elvira's place with her little coven of eunuchs. Oh. What's that? Gilligan's gonna pour us some tea. I guess this took place back in the day. Anyway, Elvira contacts her face to face and says, Red Zinger, you ain't getting my job, but the producers are already on the roll. Trying to sign this Red Zinger chick up to a contract. So in dismal, colorful, colorless, black and white panels. Brought to you by the Daily Dan blog. We're going to see Zinger's little doppelganger double cracking a whip with a tail like Satan. Oh, my God. I think these people are demons. As they watch Elvira on TV and try to steal her routine. Bill, you can't say that in a comic book. I can't say that in a comic book. Elvira, Mistress of the Dark, isn't happy. She's being threatened by the producer. She's being told, you need to make your show, Elvira. Elvira says, I'm on strike. Well, the ratings are falling now that Mini-Me's took over. Everybody wants Elvira back, so now they're begging and they're pleading. They're trying to get Elvira back to work. Little Mini-Me is having a temper tantrum because her ratings cup plunket. And now the horror movie host on another channel, Red Zinger, is getting more views. Whatever will Elvira do? Elvira, may I also add that the art in this comic book is awesome. They really drew Elvira beautiful and sexy. Too bad they didn't color it in. Once again, have I pointed out how much I really hate a black and white comic book? It sucks to find out of comics to create a black and white comic book. But like I said, I only bought this this for the cover anyway. The cover is what I'm going to see on the wall for the next few years. I'm not going to see... The inside of it, thank God. Anyway, this kind of looks like my room right here with some candles and some weird books laying around. Elvira plotting up a spell. Elvira getting ghostly help. Elvira going to use her witchcraft. Elvira going to do some summoning. That's right. Elvira's going to summon up a plan. Ding. 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 Whatever will Elvira do? Stay tuned. After a few shout-outs. 
I wouldn't be me if I didn't do a few shout outs right, right in the middle of the video. Here you go. Check out my friend Thrash Pondo Ponds right here on YouTube. The king of the bad jokes. As well as my friend Pat McCormick at the Golden Rage of TV. Thank you, Pat. He provides the music for my live streams. My live streams, which you'll see on Tuesday night. The Witching Hour. Hey, that's tonight. Maybe you should check that out. And on Saturdays for a 13 o'clock live. Be sure to check out my friend Dave Sunstorm over at The Good Stuff and his incredible brother, Stephen Sunstorm. As well as Big Guys 45, Corey's Comedy Channels, and Retro Serial featuring my friend Ian. Now, hey, guys, that's The Good Stuff. Unlike the comic book we're looking at today. Oh, we in trouble now. El Barra done summoned up the ghost of Johnny Wright. And that's right. El Barra summoned up a ghost with the most. The ghost with the contract. Must be Beetlejuice's brother. Showing El Barra how she can wiggle, how she can worm, how she can squirm her way out of this contract. Little mini me's all upset. <laughs> She goes, as she knows she's about to be replaced. Suddenly, the producer's begging Elvira, down on her knees, saying, please, please, Elvira, in all your greatness, in all your glory, Elvira. Elvira, Elvira, please come back to work. Even, even the little hostess fake with the mostest. Red Zinger got down on her knees and begged Elvira to come back because her shows are tanking too. Elvira has full control over this situation. Elvira goes back to work. The end. What a crappy story in black and white. And then we get a commercial. Yes, a commercial for Ghost of the Phantom. And and that's probably a... Probably a much better comic than the one we're looking at today. If it's not in black and white. And then you get this. I don't have no clue. You get to see yours cruelly. Letters to Elvira. Hours. And hours. And hours. Of long. Drug out letters. To Elvira. Oh my God. And I'm not kidding when I say long. Drug out letters to Elvira. You better pause quick on this one, because I'm going to roll through this. Because this is the ungodly amount of reading that I will never, ever get to. But I bet my friend Marone, I bet that little goofy bastard Michael Marone pauses every panel. Every panel and reads every line of these long, drug out, stupid letters. Oh, my God. Oh, I don't even like feminine. Uh, makes me want to visit the sponsors <laughs> that I can't talk about no more. If you want a wrong letter, here's the address. Uh, and the commercials continue for Heroes, Soul Searchers, and Company, something I've never heard of and probably I'll never review here on the blog. Oh, boom. Welcome to Elvira, Mistress of the Dark. Good is the word. Brought to you in Boner Vision. That's right. Yeah, you're going to love looking at Elvira's talent here on YouTube as you check out Mistress of the Dark on the Daddy Damn blog. Oh, my God. And here's the people you can blame for this story. If you even want to call a dismal nightmare I'm in doing right now a story. Oh, my God. Elvira wakes up. Elvira! Elvira looking as only Elvira can look. Elvira wakes up. Elvira rushes out the door. Elvira gets the mail. Elvira heads off to a meeting. Elvira's all upset that... What? What is she upset about? A role in a movie? See, I told you it was about a lead role in a movie. They're talking about Elvira, Mistress of the Dark, making her first movie. As you can see it first announced here in comic book form. And, of course, they're going to pick out the old castle set. Hey, remember that from the movie? She's going to lay down on the casting couch and get casted for the part. Oh, my God, no, dude. You can't hit on Elvira. She will slap you silly. Elvira goes out. Elvira releases the bat. Elvira calls up. The chimps? Because she has a monkey sidekick now? What? Elvira gets the letter saying they're going to make the movie. Elvira is overjoyed. Elvira jumps for joy. That's right. Elvira's all happy, Elvira. Oh, my God, I love Elvira. Elvira's all happy. Elvira's headed off to inform the ghostly relatives that her movie will be made. The producer says, 
Start the paychecks rolling. As Elvira informs the walking dead and her whole ghoulish family, that she will be making a movie really soon. And at the same time, the producer spazzes out at how much money he had to pay Elvira, who's all happy to get that check. He runs out the room in shame. And so we come to the end of this dismal nightmare with Elvira shaking hands in joy, celebrating the fact that she's rich. Celebrating the fact that her movie soon will be made. Celebrating the fact that everybody loves Elvira. And then we get a commercial for Soul Searchers and Company again, and that's going to be a dismal nightmare, much like this one. And we get an ad for Claypool Comics, the nightmare that we're probably looking at now. And you can order them here or call this and whatever the freak. And then at least they didn't waste the back cover. They put on dead beasts. That's right. God almighty. What? The new vampire saga called Dead Beats. It's just I hadn't heard from it, and this was back in 1994. I'm taking Dead Beats. Didn't make it. But apparently, since they're going to put the whole back cover dedicated to it, it must have been something something pretty cool, right? Yeah, maybe not. I don't know. Never heard of Dead Beats. If you've heard of Dead Beats, let me know in the comments below if they actually show up. So that's my look at Elvira, Mistress of the Dark. From 1994, it's a number 16. It's a trip to the market with Elvira, Mistress of the Dark. It's got that really cool Halloween cover with the jack-o'-lanterns that I love so much. And can't wait to hang on the wall. And oh, the stories were horrible. That's just horrible. They're in black and white, and they're colorless, and that just drives me crazy. But overall, the art in it was exceptional. They make Elvira look as sexy as ever. And he moralized her in a comic book. I hope you enjoyed this. Be sure to like, subscribe, and ring that stupid little bell and enjoy me next week when I crack up in a really cool classic old horror comic book from back in the day and get this Halloween thing rolling. Till next time, block over.